Tonight on the Outer Banks, the Highway Patrol is keeping a very close eye on Highway 12, which remains closed because of sand and water. And Dare County emergency managers say parts of the highway near Merlot Beach have been washed out. Meteorologist Scott Dean live in Kill Devil Hills tracking those conditions there tonight. Scott? All right, we're still getting the wind out here, as you can see, Steve. Uh, these wind gusts still continue to blow out of the north around 40 to 50 miles an hour, as Chris was just mentioning. Now, earlier today, we headed down south towards uh, Jeanette Pier, and that's where they had a wind gust of 72 miles an hour. And you can see what it did to the sea as those waves continue to crash in, whipping up a, thro a froth on the uh, sea as well and causing uh, the sand to move over those dunes at a very rapid rate. In fact, I recorded a wind gust there myself on my wind gauge of 55 miles an hour. Now, a friend of mine, Kim Ansel, who is a native of the, of the Outer Banks, she took me down south and showed me some areas that were, that were experiencing some flooding as well. We went down Highway 12 and you could see where the wind was blowing very hard, the rain was blowing across the road, and also where the water was washing over some of the uh, roadways as well, as you can see on that. And it looks like the winds will continue to blow tonight as Sandy moves well to our east, around two to 300 miles off the coast. And as it moves to the north, the winds will back out of, this, out of the uh, northwest. That could cause some sound side flooding like they've been experiencing down towards Hatteras, Hatteras and over towards the Noose River. Reporting live from Kill Devil Hills, we'll send it back to you.